Do you want to skip lines, save time and money, and make sure that your luggage never gets lost? Then you are going to love today's new travel hacks and travel tips that I have to share with you. Let's go. Hey y'all and welcome. If you're new here, I'm Christy, the Gen X Gypsy, helping you to travel better so you can focus on creating unforgettable memories. Y'all, there have been some big changes in the travel industry over the past several months. And I'm not just talking uh, the negative changes that are happening, making people miss flights and canceled flights and all of that chaos that's happening, there have actually been some positive changes happening as well. And these are things that I just learned about. So I figured if I'm just learning about them, likely you haven't heard about them either. So I'm going to share those with you today. In addition, I have a few more tips that might help you be able to navigate the chaos of flight delays and flight cancellations. First, let's talk about skipping lines because everybody likes to be able to skip a line, right? If you don't want to invest in TSA PreCheck or Clear or Global Entry or any of those additional ways that you pay in order to get around the security lines, there is a new way for you to get to the front of the security line and it doesn't cost you a thing. That's right, it's completely free. It's available at eight airports so far across the country, and they'll probably be introducing it to a few more. But some of the airports currently that are using it are like Newark, Seattle, Phoenix, Dallas, Fort Worth. And it's a system that allows you to make an appointment to get to the head of the security line up to 72 hours before your flight is to leave. Now, each airport handles it a little bit differently. There is no consistency to it yet, but if you fly out of one of those airports on a regular basis and you don't really want to have to invest in TSA PreCheck, or perhaps you're flying with your family and they can't go through on your TSA PreCheck and you want to have another way in order to get to the head of the security line, this is a great way to do it. You just need to go online and you'll make an appointment, like I said, 72 hours up to 72 hours before your flight is to take off. And that will allow you to skip ahead of the security line and get all the way to the front. Now you will still be in the general boarding security line. So you won't have the benefits of TSA pre-check, like not having to take your laptop out or take your shoes off or any of those things. You'll still have to go through all of that process, but at least you get to skip the line. And from what I understand, it could save you up to 20 or 30 minutes of standing in line. So, you know, a little extra time is always helpful. I kind of think of it like the Disney Fast Pass, but for airports. <laughs> Another way you can skip really long lines, especially that incredibly long line at every Starbucks, at every airport, is by using the Starbucks mobile app. That's right, you can use the mobile app at airports now. So you can get off of your plane and be ordering your Starbucks on the jetway. And then by the time you've walked down the concourse and made it to Starbucks, your coffee will be ready for you. Just be prepared to get dirty looks from all of the people who don't know about that trick yet. And for the last line skipping hack, and this one's not terribly new, but you might not be aware of it. If you are a member of a rental car loyalty program, you might be able to skip having to talk to a person at the counter and be able to go straight to picking up your car. Now, I have experience with Alamo and Budget and their program works great, not to mention their customer service is off the charts. But most rental car agencies have this program set up, but it's something that you should research next time that you are looking to rent a car. Just by joining a loyalty program, you might save yourself a half an hour to an hour of waiting in that line. Now let's talk about saving money, especially money on plane tickets, which are getting ridiculously expensive. And I'm not talking about going incognito mode, which doesn't really work, or buying your tickets on a particular day, because that doesn't really work either. I am talking about budget airlines like Frontier or Spirit, 
Ryanair, Allegiance, you know, the ones that everybody loves to hate. I am a big fan of budget airlines. If you are just trying to get from point A to point B and you don't need to bring a lot of luggage, and you're not flying anywhere for more than three or four hours. I think budget airlines are a great way to go. And there are two new budget airlines that are being introduced into the U.S. flight pattern, I guess is the best way to say it. Avello and Breeze. And I will link them below so you can check out what destinations they go to. But both airlines fly to Orlando, Nashville, Las Vegas. So some pretty fun places, right? The caveat is that they don't necessarily fly every day but that's why they are budget airlines and they fly from smaller regional airports which i actually think is a benefit and you don't have to go through a big airport and have to stand in a big airport security line you can go through a smaller regional airport which takes a lot less time. So we're saving time as well as money. Anyway, I think that they are two options to check out if you are planning on going to any of those fun locations. It's a it's just a great option. And your ticket price could possibly be 50 to 75% less than it would be on a larger airline. Now for never getting your luggage lost, that's a guarantee that's kind of hard to make unless you're only always just traveling with a personal item. And I know that's that's challenging for people to do, but there are some of you out there that, that do a great job of that. For the rest of us, you know, even if you are traveling with a carry-on bag, sometimes you are going to have to check that carry-on bag because there's not enough room in the airplane for the bag to go in the overhead compartment. So what can you do in order to avoid having your baggage get lost? Because right now with our plane shortages and our baggage handler shortages and delays and cancellations, lost baggage is happening a lot more often than it used to. So the first thing you can do is something that should make pretty good sense to you and I've talked about before, and that is to get either a tile or a Apple AirTag to put in your luggage so that you can track it wherever it goes. Now, before you send your bag off to be checked in, wherever you're checking it in, whether it's at the check-in counter or you're asked to check it at the gate, make sure you take a picture of your suitcase. That way, in combination with your information on the tile where your baggage is or ends up being, you can send them, this is where my bag is and this is what it looks like so that they can quickly find your luggage and get it back to you. The next thing you can do if you didn't happen to put a tile in there or you can't find somebody who can help you out with that particular situation, the next thing I would suggest is to DM the airline either through their Twitter account or their Instagram account. For some reason, their social media managers can sometimes facilitate getting lost baggages or canceled flights or whatever issue is happening, they can kind of facilitate things a little bit faster sometimes than the customer service person on the ground can. So I would suggest DMing through their social media as an option. And if you happen to be flying United, you can use their new agent on demand program that they have started where they are utilizing customer service agents who are at other airports not impacted by whatever issue might be happening with your airport. And you can contact them for lost luggage, but it's also extremely helpful if you are having to deal with a delay or cancellation. If you want more tips and tricks on how to handle flight delays and cancellations, check out this video next. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.